Hi, I'm Mark, and a few weeks ago, GiftGaff sent me the new Nexus 6P to review for you guys. This is my thoughts on the phone having used it for a few weeks, and I hope you find it helpful. The 6P is the latest flagship phone from Google, and this time it's manufactured by Huawei. The 6P is a high-end smartphone costing around £400. It came out back in September and comes in a choice of colours. In terms of design, the 6P isn't the lightest phone in the world, but it's got a nice slim design that fits comfortably in your hand. On the base of the phone you'll find a reversible USB-C port. On the side you'll find volume and lock buttons. On the top you'll find a headphone socket, and on the other side you'll find a drawer for your SIM card. The rear of the phone has a fingerprint sensor, which is a really unusual place to put it, and actually the fingerprint sensor itself is really responsive and easy to get used to. However, I'm not convinced about having it on the back of your phone, because it turns out it's just a little bit awkward. Inside the phone you'll find a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor with 3GB of RAM. This means that the phone runs nice and quickly and can even handle the most complicated games. It comes with 32GB built-in memory, which is a really nice amount to get with a phone, although there isn't a memory card slot, so you can't expand that easily. The 6P has built-in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, and is both 3G and 4G ready. In terms of battery life, the phone has a 3450mAh battery. This means you can get quite a lot out of a phone, although realistically you're still going to be charging it once a day. On the front of the phone you'll find a beautiful 5.7 inch WQHD display which is really responsive and really easy to get used to. As with most phones, the phone has two cameras. The front facing camera is an 8 megapixel camera which is great for selfies and produces some really nice results. This camera can also take full HD video. The rear camera is a slightly more impressive 12 megapixel camera and the results from this were okay but not the best photos that I've ever seen on a phone. This camera can also shoot 4K video which I was really impressed with. I thought the tap to focus worked really quickly and the results looked great. The operating system on the 6P is the latest Android Marshmallow which is really easy to get used to and runs really smoothly on the device. The built in apps make it easy to do all the things you'd expect to be able to do so you can make calls, send text messages, manage your diary and browse maps. The media apps also make it really easy to listen to your favourite songs, browse through your photos and videos look really good on that display. Of course, being an Android phone, you've also got the Google Play Store. This means you can choose from thousands of apps to download onto your device. From the thousands of apps available, there's apps for you to make payments on the go with Android Pay, apps to check Twitter, and of course, apps to play games on the go. Overall, the Nexus 6P is a really good phone. It's packed with plenty of features, but none of them really stood out for me. When it comes to pros and cons, the pros of the phone have to be that beautiful display, which is really responsive and looks great. In addition to that, having a fingerprint sensor is also a really nice feature, especially now Android Pay is here in the UK. In terms of cons, the lack of a memory card slot is a little bit disappointing, and the fingerprint sensor being on the back of a phone I found was a little bit difficult to get used to, and not really very practical. For those reasons, I'd give the Nexus 6P an 8 out of 10. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys again soon.